good afternoon, good evening, depending. depending on where you are receiving us. Uh, welcome to one more uh, edition of the uh, Bridge Writers. Today we have uh, with us uh, our guest, uh, Cesar Coggioli. So let me introduce Cesar Coggioli for you. Cesar is Brazilian, born in Florianopolis, actually transmitting from Florianopolis as well today. Uh, so that's the state of Santa Catarina in Brazil. He is an entrepreneur with uh, degrees in uh, mechanical engineering, business administration and law, and a post and master's in constitutional law. Uh, he has been volunteering in uh, consensus-centric organizations uh, since 1988. Um, he's a consensiology instructor since May 1994 and a Panther practitioner since June 2005. Caesar is the author of several books in what I would call the series of consensiological Calipino, because it's going to be many books that, that I know of. Uh, so it's, that's a collection of pro-evolutionary notes, and uh, I think the first one came out 2019. Uh, and also the author of um, this book, uh, Consensiology, A Brief Introduction to the Science of Consciousness, which uh, has just come out in English in uh, this year, so recently, 2022. So Caesar is also the founder of various CIs, uh, amongst which uh, the International Association for the Expansion of uh, Consensiology, IEC, and he ex acts as a IEX president since foundation, right, since 2005, right? Yes. So welcome, Caesar, and please, you can start when you want. It's all yours. Uh, hi, Liliana. Hi, everybody. Yeah, first, I'd like to, to thank you for the opportunity to be here talking about my research theme that is Consensiological Calipino. Uh, I would like to congratulate this initiative of Isaac and UNESCO too. I think this is very important for consensiology because uh, the science has a lot of material, but uh, uh, in Portuguese, no? not in English yet. So I think this is very important to authors too, to practice uh, the English. Uh, I will need some help. Okay, I have a little accent, but I'm I'm here with a lot of helpers, uh, with my duo evolutive too here, Fernanda. So uh, I will try to to explain what is my research team uh, to inspire the persons to, to do the same, uh, and I will I probably uh, will talk for about forty five minutes, one hour, and not more than this. And then I will uh, answer the questions uh, if you have. Okay, so I will try my best. I will I will try to do my best. Okay, uh, uh, so let's start. I will share the presentation. Okay, here. Okay. Consensiological Calipino. Uh, first, first, uh, Caesar, thank you. Can you expand it a little bit, uh, the image? Expand so the can, image? Yes, so that we can see just the, uh, not the yeah, side slide. Would you help me here? They are, they are asking me to expand the, the. So that we can see just the, uh, each slide one at a time, yeah? At the bottom, you can do this. There is a little icon. We have, we already are here in presenting mode. 
but you are not seeing presenting mode is that correct yeah we are seeing with with the slides on the side and oh we're seeing everything. let's try again sometimes it's not yet. just make it bigger let's try again okay it's okay thank you for your comprehension <laughs> you're welcome no problem and your presentation and thank you for number two yeah, we can try this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is now perfect. Perfect. But 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 I, I... Uh, you just have to bring your control here. Yeah, here. Ah, okay. here. Okay, thank you. Lovely. <laughs> Let's go again. Okay. Little technical details. No problem. Oh, no problem. Uh, first, I thank you uh, all for attending this class today. No? I would like to share you uh, a little bit of my journey in consensuology. I think this is very important uh, to show you what is the consensuological Calipino. No? Uh, I started in consensuology in 1988. That is the foundation's year of IIPC. No? That is the our longest, uh, oldest uh, institution, né? International Institute for uh, Projectiology and Conscienciology, I think. Né? Uh, I worked uh, in IIPC uh, till 2008, uh, 2005. Né? Uh, so, so I was in IIPC for uh, 17 years. Né? I worked in a lot of functions there. Uh, I was the coordinator from 1993 to 1997. Uh, I started to give to to give uh, to give classes uh, in 1994. Uh, but in 2005, uh, we found uh, we found we launched the 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 IEC, né? Uh, the institution that I am uh, in in the coordination to, today, but I I I gave a lot. I was a very um, working a lot of with consensuology. I was uh, giving uh, a lot of classes, but I was feeling myself uh, very disconnected with uh, the ideas. Uh, the new ideas of consensuology. Mr. Valdo Vieira uh, was printing a large book, né? a, a treated né? uh, every two or three years. So I was very accommodado, how can you say? Accommodado, you, you can help me, Liliana. You were, you were a little bit in the, comf in the comfort zone, let's put it. Yes, I was, in the, I was in the comfort, in the comfort zone. zone, thank you. Uh, I was in the comfort zone uh, giving classes, but only uh, with projectology, another treated. Uh, and I was feeling myself very uh, desactualized. So you, you felt like you needed some updating, some upgrading? Then. Yes, yes, I was <laughs> needing an upgrade. <laughs> so uh, when I, when I uh, in, in 2005, uh, I started my transition uh, uh, from Florianópolis to Iguaçu Falls. And I decided to organize all my notes and to put all my lecture uh, in day. Uh, uh, just in time, I, I was needing to invest in mental somatic uh, approach, new ideas to actualize uh, what is conscienciology in fact. Uh, so, uh, I, when I, I, I gone to, to Iguazu Falls, uh, I started to work in Oloteca, uh, not less than six, seven years, uh, no, no, not six, seven hours uh, a day. Uh, sometimes I, I was reading for 10 hours, uh, uh, 14 hours uh, every day from Sunday to Sunday. Uh, to to read all the material that consensuology uh, has, uh, has has had in English, 
and I had in Portuguese. Uh, so uh, I worked a lot of, and I, I think that I, after one decade, I could put my ideas in a systematic organization. Né? And this uh, was very important for me because I, I read it, all the, the material that Conscienciology uh, had till uh, 2016. And I organized all my notes from any course that I had uh, along almost uh, uh, three decades. So I, I worked a lot of, uh, and I call this- That's the thing is sometimes we forget that uh, every time that we do a course or we do an activity, we take lots of notes, right? Yes. But then yes. what do we do with that, right? We just yes. leave them and, you know, and don't pay attention to that material that is so important, right? Yes. And, you did. Uh, and, and, and I, uh, I organize all this material, okay? Uh, and I, uh, devel I developed a methodology uh, to organize this, uh, this material. Né? Uh, so uh, first I read it and I dissected all written consensiological materials accumulated. Né? Uh, and it's very important that uh, I learned this in a course of Mr. Valviero called uh, uh, immersion in it, uh, immersão heterocrítica em obra útil. I don't know how you call in English this. Okay, so it's but, an immersion about writing, you know, uh, uh, about reading specific books, right? You know, okay. selected books. It was all about selected books. I remember. Okay. This, this uh, so I, I learned with Mr. Valdivier that uh, any researcher need to have uh, his uh, personal notes code. Uh, he needs to take a book and uh, fulfill with, with his notes. We don't have, uh, we, we cannot have any um, any apprehension or, or pudor or fear to, to write on the book, okay? So uh, I take uh, some codes of Mr. Valdivere, but I, I developed my, uh, my code too. Né? Uh, in the beginning, I was very uh, interested uh, in collect uh, mega pensenis trivocabularis. How you say in English? So that's trivocabular uh, megathosines. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Trivocabularis megathosines. Okay. That are, are, are phrases with three terms that uh, represents a big idea. No? But uh, in a few. Uh, in a few moments, I comprehend that are some uh, ideas that cannot be expressed only in three terms. So I have some phrases, very good, you know, very good phrases. And I started a, a, a root of uh, a file in a computer. You know? I, I, I call root file, you know? it's a, a kind of file in the computer when I was putting uh, this uh, those scenes, and then I put the, the phrases and I, uh, I, I, I observed uh, that uh, some uh, phrases are not uh, only uh, definitions. We, we, uh, we had some phrase that was a paradoxes on other phrases was uh, antipodes definitions, another phrase was relations, another phrase um, was uh, uh, not existences. Uh, we, I, I had a lot of uh, kind of phrases. So I started to uh, uh, put these ideas in these root files uh, separated. Uh, and uh, after this, I I saw that so we have just, some, please, some. Can I just say some? So you have yes, 100, uh, 137 uh, files, uh, like by theme, where you organized your information. Yeah, all the notes and all the phrases, uh, all the sentences, everything. 
all these yeah. thoughts in 137 uh, different files. Yes, uh, what, I'm, what, what I am trying to explain to you is what, what I did in my research. I started with one file, but I, when I was collecting the ideas, I saw that we have a kind of ideas and I was, uh, I, I, I tried to classificate the, 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 the ideas with in the files. Uh, so uh, after the, the, these files of phrases, of different kinds of phrases, I started to, to do a, a, a file with ideas about uh, some themes. Uh, uh, so uh, I collected, a lot of ideas of different terms. Uh, after this, uh, I saw that I, I have uh, some ideas uh, of some kind of terms uh, that was very good. So I started to, uh, uh, to study a file with this team. So I opened a file about praxis. I, I opened a file about uh, Teneps, another uh, uh, penta, né? penta, in English. I, penta. I, 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 I open a lot of fi files, okay. And uh, in the end of this process, I was working with one hundred thirty-seven files, different files. Uh, from then, I think that uh, twenty files uh, was almost a book with a lot of material. Uh, but uh, returning what what I what I was explaining, first I read all the material book of Conscienciology. Uh, first uh, the books of Mr. Valdivieri, uh, beginning from the the old ones and then coming the to the new treatises. ones. Yeah. So yes, treatises. Uh, any books? Conscienciology seven hundred, Homo oh. sapiens, all of them. Oh. Yeah. I, I dissected né, uh, uh, each uh, book on each phrase and I have a principle with me that if I don't understand any idea, I will not go ahead without comprehend uh, in a very uh, a large stage. I need to reflect about the idea to go ahead, okay? Mm -hmm. So I did this with all the material. Uh, 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 inclusively with the uh, Encyclopedia of Conscienciology, the six, sixth edition, sixth edition, uh, sixth edition. The sixth edi six edition. Yes, sixth yeah. edition. Uh, I read all the encyclopedia. For so me, it was very important. already like 20 books or something, 20 big books. Uh, it was, uh, like was, uh, was uh, uh, 11 books uh, because it uh, was eight, but I, I take the, uh, the eighth edition the 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 material of Mr. Valdivieri that was not published in the sixth, and I print all them, and I and I read it. And so uh, everything that was published in Conscienciology till uh, 1960, uh, 19, uh, 2016, I I read it everything. Okay, and put my uh, notes in in each book in each phrase. Uh, uh, and I did this. Uh, the second thing I did was the, the I read all my notes from all Conscienciology co courses. This is the second uh, item. Né? Uh, sometimes I work with th these two uh, together. Uh, sometimes I was reading a book and I stop a little and then I uh, read uh, some notes. Uh, but but I, 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 I worked every day uh, from eight o'clock to eight uh, at night, uh, reading, uh, writing. Né? And after I read it and uh, dissected all material that I had, I tried to type in this material uh, in the root files, okay? Uh, and then, I, after all this, I started to prepare uh, these root files for publication. After one decade, I, I had uh, 
22,000 pages typed. It. It's a large material. Uh, this material. Uh, you've showed uh, me, you've showed me, it's a lot of material. It's uh, a yes. lot of uh, but I think that uh, was this uh, kind of uh, mental somatic application study that permi allows me, né, permits me to give classes of consensus uh, in the Calipino, consensological and consensological Calipino. There is an activity that I, ga uh, I give every Sunday uh, about any uh, thing that the, the, our students uh, vote. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, so for the, me, the, for me, it was very important. Uh, I think that uh, if the consensual researchers uh, read more, they will. Uh, they will produce have, more as well. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have ex uh, words to, for express what I was uh, one decade uh, before this process and one decade after read all material. Uh, for me, it was very important, okay? But mm -hmm. let's go uh, ahead. Let, uh, let me just say, so in the Calipino, you have okay. this activity every week, right? On, yes. on Sunday, on Sunday. And generally, there are a few themes and uh, people uh, that are in the room, uh, they, they select, they vote. And then the uh, next Calipino will be about the topic that they voted, that was the most voted, right? That's how yes. you produce this, uh, this uh, long-term course, Yes, uh, the, the Calipino. Uh, we, we had now at Calipino uh, 250 uh, activities uh, in the moment. I, I am intending to go to 1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about any kind of theme that is voted. Uh, I, I we, we debate about uh, sex, about any regime that is pathological semi-possession, about uh, themes uh, very advanced like extra physical uh, centrals. Any kind of theme mm -hmm. we are yeah, we are talking about it. Uh, I, I prepare a material, a uh, 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 wrote material about the, the, the theme that we are talking, and uh, we, we debate uh, the, or any idea that they uh, ask, they, they have interest in, uh, they had interest in. But uh, returning to Calipino, okay? Uh, the research because uh, Calipino, uh, I need to, to, to explain uh, that the Calipino for me uh, has three uh, meanings. When I talk Calipino, can be uh, this uh, methodology to study, can be, uh, for example, the first book, Calipino Consensiologic, that was a, a big book that was made with one uh, these files that I, I talked about. Né? The, this, the Calipino book is the file uh, about the, the ideas that I collected about the, the themes of research. Uh, is, is indexed uh, as a dictionary. So if you have interest in, the, in, a, in some uh, theme, you can... Uh, look like a dictionary or oh, I would like to read about Teneps, about Penta. Okay, I have ideas about Penta. Uh, and uh, I think this book is very important because uh, I have a material, uh, uh, wrote material selected, but uh, I have a lot of ideas extracted from the classes of Mr. Valdivieira. Uh, tertulias and mini tertulias. Uh, I don't know how you say in English, Consensiological tertulias and mini tertulias. Yeah, okay? it's the same. Yeah, we keep the It's name. the same. Okay. Uh, so, uh, because it's a, a knowledge uh, that was uh, oral, né? Uh, passed in, in oral uh, by words, if uh, anybody uh, wrote the, about this, probably will be lost uh, in, the, in, some, uh, in some video or mini tertulias are not recorded. So 
if you don't have somebody to put uh, these ideas on paper, probably we, you lost. No? You think uh, that you it, recorded everything in writing. Yes, yes, and yes. In the future, uh, we will hope that we can have this in English as well. Uh, it will take so, time. So, so uh, let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, Calipino, uh, it's a strange word uh, in Portuguese. I don't know in other countries. Uh, but uh, in, in Portuguese, we have in the dictionary uh, uh, the meanings of Calipino. Uh, there are two meanings of Calipino. It can be a dictionary or can be uh, a book of notes, like a reference a book. Okay. Uh, why this? Uh, I will tell you the story or what I research about it. Uh, there was a, a Italian monk called Ambrogio da Ponte di Calep. Uh, that is not me. Okay. Uh, I would like to say because somebody, the people, oh, you are uh, Calipino, I'm not. Uh, but uh, he did a very famous uh, dictionary of Latin. Uh, if you look at Amazon, uh, for, uh, for example, old books, uh, you can see that in Google, you can see that uh, there is a Calipino, is a dictionary of Latin. No? Uh, but uh, every uh, was very famous in Europe in the, in the 16th and 17th centuries. And uh, people uh, usually uh, uh, put uh, his notes on this dictionary. And everybody has uh, his Calipino, his own Calipino with his notes. So uh, Calipino uh, uh, started to have, uh, to have these two meanings. One meaning uh, dictionary, because it was a dictionary of Latin, and another meaning that was uh, like a book of notes, okay? and uh, over time became synonymous of big vocabulary, okay? Uh, so I proposed, because of this, uh, the consensiological Calipino right? is therefore uh, the notes of a consensiological of a consensiology student intended for consultation within an ordered compilation Thus, resembling a specialized lexicon with the results of the students' incessant research. Okay, I think that uh, any uh, research uh, of consensiological or not uh, must have uh, his consensiological, uh, his his Calipino. Okay, uh, I, I noted in three decades of uh, consensiological as a volunteer. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, people having uh, a lot of ideas, inspirations uh, from the helpers in the classes, but uh, usually they put these annotations in, uh, in a book. Uh, for one week, two weeks, they uh, reflected about it, but in a few days, after one month, for example, they don't remember uh, almost nothing. Okay, uh, when you uh, revisit all your notes, uh, you know you noted you note uh, some idea because it was important for you. Okay, uh, when you have the opportunity to revisit and to read all the material that you wrote in decades of study, uh, this is very important because it, you, for you, you see what you go ahead, you was better, right? you, you are better, uh, and what you need to take care, what you need to, to apply yourself to, uh, to transform your weak traits in, uh, in uh, uh, in strong traits, in strong, strong traits. traits, in strong yeah. traits, okay. Uh, so is this. No? Uh, in, uh, consensi uh, con uh, for me, no? the consensiological Calipino uh, has some synonymous. No? Uh, for example, uh, are 
anti-corruption notes, consensiological quotes, you can call accepts from consensiological works, or cosmovisiological notulus, cosmoethical thoughts, cognition pills, né? a consensiologist emphatic reasoning, recipe for ideas, reflections of oppressed serenissimus, self-waiting spots, you can call of, uh, of many ways, né? but I think that the, the principal idea is to, uh, to do an expansion, a expansion uh, from your uh, mental soma. Mr. Hald Vieira uh, talked about uh, a lot of uh, with us that when a person starts to invest in his uh, mental somatic, uh, in, in his mental soma, uh, something good will happen with this person. Uh, and, and, and it is impossible for a person to, to don't expand and to uh, don't be better in, uh, in all his personality. Uh, because uh, if you put uh, good ideas in your brain, uh, something will happen, okay? And for me, this was very important. Uh, I think that after this work, I started to be more retilinearidade um, pensênica. Uh, be more Excuse straightforward me. in the way uh, in your cuisines and the way you think, right? In the yes, yes, thank you. I would like to apologize because my English isn't so good again, okay? I'm trying to, to, to translate uh, some ideas in Portuguese to English and I don't have the words, but I, I'm going, okay? I need to practice more, just that, okay? Uh, this book that uh, the, the Calipino Consensiological uh, has one volume, uh, 1,000, uh, 566 pages, a lot of entries, né? uh, notes from lectors né? and written quotes. Uh, but this, uh, this is uh, only one file of this 137. Uh, when, I, when I stopped this work in 216, 2016, I, I started to organize these files. And actually I have uh, 14 books already, uh, uh, already to, to, to start the editoration process. Mm -hmm. But this is very, uh, very, uh, uh, demorado, né? Uh, it's, it's time consuming, obviously, because yes, uh, yes, there is a lot of material, but you already have some books that, yeah, that are, uh, I've, I've seen that you have already some other books that have already one print at least, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. You already have some that are already uh, in print. But, but some books, uh, for example, this uh, book of, of introduction uh, to Consensiology, I wrote in 10 hours of work. Uh, I don't consider this uh, one book of these files. It's just one, one idea I, I made in 10 hours of work. Uh, this book of uh, this Calipino Consensiological uh, was more than 4,000 hours of work. It's a lot of work to, to do a, a book like this, okay? Uh, I have some tips. Uh, for for persons that are interested to to do his consensiological calipino, né? uh, first tip, I think that uh, we have a penta, né? uh, that is the personal energetic task. I think that the mental somatic work must. Uh, uh, be must be do né? uh, done uh, exactly as penta 
you can call a mental a personal mental somatic test if you want okay another term but uh, i think that if you don't have a i don't know one hour a day okay will be half an hour but uh, you you should have a, a schedule to read to write uh, this is very important uh, you will do with the time your verponarium that is a place with energetic and uh, all you need to comprehend the the great ideas of conscienciology okay uh, and you you, you must uh, 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 follow the schedule no? because if you permit probably you, you lost your night uh, watching some videos and television uh, and in the end of the night you don't have any idea uh, any new idea no? the second uh, tip uh, that I suggest is uh, I, I one of my files uh, I uh, I call it the self thosanation agenda. No? This is a, a verbete of uh, Mr. Valdivier in the Encyclopedia of Conscienciology. I don't know how you say verbete. Uh, entry, verbet, no? verbet. No, verbet. Entry, but you also use verbet. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a verbet of Mr. Valdivier. No? Uh, he wrote that when uh, you have uh, some time, uh, free time, you should have a list of ideas uh, to reflect about it. And I, uh, I open a file about this and uh, I transform this in a book. A book of now uh, uh, are with uh, 700 pages. Right? And this is my self fascination agenda. Uh, this book is very important for me because it's like I take it uh, all of the principal ideas that interconsensually uh, works with me, and I put this in a in a file. Uh, and when I have time, if I open this book, I have automatically uh, some kind of uh, expansion of my mental soma, of my ideas. Uh, the, th uh, the, another tip, uh, let the facts guide your research. Uh, you, uh, you should not uh, um, much um, Avoid excessive format, for, formatting uh, of the of the the research. Uh, if you if you feel inspiration to read about other ideas, to research in internet about uh, uh, some themes. Uh, if you if you need to have the inspiration to work with your energies and have some rest. Uh, I think that you must uh, let the the facts and power facts né, uh, guide your research. You you need to have an open mind because sometimes we, you are with the helpers. They are trying to give you uh, some ideas, some inspirations, but only if you take just a little out of the research, uh, you can uh, apprehend uh, these ideas. Okay. Uh, another tip, uh, you don't worry too much about the time factor. Uh, you, you, the, the principle is not to read all the material. The principle is to read and to reflect about the ideas. Uh, so uh, you need uh, months with a lot of calm, stay calm and read and reflect. If you need to go to a laboratory to reflect about uh, some idea, you must do it. Uh, when I, I was reading the material of Mr. Valdo, principally né, the treatise, uh, and I had sometimes uh, some ideas that worked a lot of uh, in my intraconsciality, 
uh, I I stopped everything. I went to a laboratory. I I stayed uh, in a place calm, uh, trying to to understand the the advanced words. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, can I can this, I add something about that? Yeah. Oh, please. Uh, these are fantastic tips. Very very good. Because sometimes we forget, you know, and we don't think, you know, how important it is all all this. Uh, and sometimes people say when we talk about laboratories, oh yes, you are very fortunate because in uh, in uh, in CIAC you have all these laboratories. But as a student that have been in you know, out there, I started in Lisbon, in Portugal, and then I moved to London and I spent 14 years in London and stuff. Uh, I know for from my own practice that you can do your laboratory at home. If you find, yes. if you get a space, a specific space, and you put the energy there, you can do what you do in a laboratory here, you can do at home. I've done the three hours in mobility technique at home several times. I did, you know, you can do the five hour uh, reflection technique at home. You can do a vibrational state at home. You can, the helper will be there. And you create the environment and you put the energy there and it works. Uh, it may be different from here, but it works, it will work for you. It's just a matter of putting it in practice. And it, it does make a huge difference in uh, your appreciation and your ideas you know, and the ideas that come. And, you know, it's really very, very important, right? There is a, 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 an idea that Mr. Valdivieira uh, uh, explained it to us that uh, he called it Verponarium. Verponarium is your place to work with the, the new ideas. When you prepared your workstation at your home, working at this place a lot of hours each day, after some years, you you will have uh, uh, all of those things uh, prepared to understand to write, to comprehend uh, the ideas in an advanced way, okay? So- uh, This has uh, happened to me, so uh, here, right? I've had recently, like in January, a couple of uh, projections about uh, my place here, the place where I, you know, my room, where I do everything, where I read, where I write, where I also eat, but, you know, it, it's now it is prepared extra physically and it is a room with it's full of books and papers and desks extra physically. And uh, yes, I had this this projection with Otto Vieira and, and that was about it. You know, you know, it's it's set now. It's like, yeah, it's your extra physical office and it yeah. works. Yeah. I, I think the, the challenge, no, Liliana, is to to transform uh, your workstation in a Verponari, to transform your uh, local of, ten, of Penta in an OFX, okay? Uh, and uh, any people that are listening to us all around, all around the world now uh, can transform his house in a special place to work with the, the helpers and these advanced ideas, okay? Uh, what, I was, what I was intending to, to pass uh, for you of ideas is here. I will stop uh, sharing my video. And now I am here to, to answer if you have some questions, okay? I am here. I don't know if you have uh, some, some questions. I like to give classes uh, talking health uh, about my ideas, but let the people ask for amplifying uh, the what I'm telling. For sure, please feel free to ask away. I have a question, please. Well, 
Okay. Go so, ahead. Professor Cesar, yes, did you identify like a, a specific uh, extra physical helper when you started like a writing? Uh, who is asking me? Mario. 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 Uh, I think that the the helpers uh, changes. Uh, uh, what uh, you are doing something, the helpers are uh, uh, go changing. Okay, uh, I I observed that was a helper uh, more uh, specialized in 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 some kind of mental somatic organization that worked with me with a lot of time, but uh, after a few years. I note very uh, exactly that when I was working with some kind of ideas, uh, some kind of helpers, specific helpers was go going. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know if you, I mean, I may be clearing, but uh, in the beginning, I had one helper, one kind of helper. After some years, I started to observe that the to observe that we I had a, a, a team of helpers, uh, and I when I was working with some kind of file, a specific file, uh, this helper was with me. For example, uh, now I am working uh, with a book that probably will be uh, uh, will be published in one or two months. That is the the code uh, of uh, ex existential code of the intermissivist, the lucid intermissivist. Okay, uh, the ex uh, the the this exist existential code, personal existential code, was advanced idea that Mr. Val Vieira uh, wrote in the, in his last book. Uh, uh, lexical of Orto Pensatas. Uh, he, he wrote uh, for about 10 uh, Orto Pensatas about it. And uh, he let very clear that the, this uh, personal existential code are not the uh, personal code of cosmetic, okay? It was another kind of code that uh, uh, applies for all your existence. Uh, and I, I, I wrote a book about it, about this existential code. When I was working with this code, I observed, uh, uh, I think that he, he was a helper who worked with uh, law in the past because he, he was trying to transform uh, he, he gave uh, inspirations to transform all the ideas in uh, like uh, like loss loss to to be follow okay uh, and for me it was very clear that I had a, a very specific helper to do this work okay so is, is this. I think that the, 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 the team of helpers uh, changes. Uh, we are needing to do something, they are changing. Is is, they're always technical, they, they're always technical and they come depending on what type of subject that you are approaching, it makes all sense. I am doing now the emotion in writing and uh, it, it's the same thing, you know, during the field, and uh, you know, the field is not just now because everything everyone is online right the field is with you the helpers come to you and they give you inspiration directly yes yes thank you Liliana. you are helping me it a works. lot it yes, works thank you. thank you okay i i am seeing here uh in the chat another question eh? uh, during all this time of studies and research what was the most troubled period in relation to the world contest? For example, the wars or economic crisis interfere with energy. Are there periods with higher demand for the research? 
No, I, I think, uh, I don't know who asked me this, but uh, uh, it's from Isaac. No, no, I don't know. Uh, what I can tell you is that, uh, uh, it's Paul. Okay, thank you. Uh, Paul, I think that uh, uh, when you have a crisis, a crisis uh, in the world, you have more uh, demand uh, with the energies, principally uh, with Penta. For me, it's very clearly in, in Penta when uh, when I when I am Foz Iguaçu or here in Florianópolis, uh, I know that uh, because there are more people suffering, uh, we need to donate more energy. Okay, and sometimes this affects your research because uh, the Penta is not or, or, or not of course only with, with you uh, works with your energy at this 50 minutes uh, you have with the the, the time uh, the advanced uh, practice of of Penta you have uh, some uh, extra pauta I don't uh, 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 extra sections of penta no? it goes beyond the agenda and and, and yes. sometimes even beyond the hour that you do penta sometimes it can yes. be different times of the day i mean at least for me it can be yeah. different times of the day the the the, the assistance is being done yes mm -hmm. uh, and and this kind of of demand and of energetic demand uh, sometimes affects your research you need to stop what you are reading to go to do a extra section of Penta. Uh, we, we now have a war in Ukraine, but uh, we had uh, for three years, a long pandemic problem uh, with COVID. We, we, had a, we, we, we had a lot of uh, uh, asks for Penta uh, from people all around the world, uh, a lot of people suffering. Uh, with the disease and with uh, parents, né? people, friends that are suffering with them. Uh, we have a lot of losses, né? Uh, people that are, uh, who died. Uh, and I think that all this, uh, we have a lot of people now having problem with his minds. Uh, and all of this uh, affects your research. Né? And you need sometimes to, to do to to sterilize more energies no? uh, what i what i i think what i i pers i i'm percebendo né? what i'm feeling in the last years that uh, the donation of energy is increasing a lot of no? uh, when you are reading you are not only reading you normally are reading and do a sterilization of energies to help another people. You do at the same time, okay? Lisa, may I ask a question? Hi, Regina here. Um, you, you said you, we should not uh, worry too much about the time, but you were talking about that you were reading 10 hours a day, 12 or 14 hours a day. So how, how did you organize yourself uh, by, uh, because uh, I, I was wondering uh, from my, in, in my example, I'm working uh, full time. And uh, so how did you organize that? Yeah, Virginia, I, I know that this reality uh, is not for everybody no? because sometimes the, the the person needs to to work uh, all day no? but uh, I have uh, uh, a lot of demands in my life I have uh, a lot of um, yeah, in presence name no? I would say enterprises you're an enterprise yeah, i have a lot of enterprises i have a, i have a, i have a, a lot of demands in my life but when you when you put um objective and you you can uh, slowly you organize your life to that 
If you work all day, obviously you cannot uh, read in the, the, in the place of the work. But uh, for example, for a, a lot of years, I gone to, to, to SEAC with my books and uh, between the lunch and the beginning of the Tertulia, Consensiological Tertulia, I was there uh, in the room reading the books. So if you, 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 if you put uh, exactly, uh, very clearly for you, what are your objectives, you can slowly uh, go organizing your life to that. Uh, if you have any moment, uh, you will uh, read. Uh, if you have uh, some time at night, uh, you will read. You will stop uh, 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 with the time to watch TV for three, four hours. You go one hour to read, to study. Uh, then you will, uh, with the time, you will transform the mental somatic work in a kind of leisure. No? You will transform and then you start with one hour, then two hours, then three hours, then four hours. In the beginning, for example, I had a lot of difficulty to stay, uh, for example, two hours uh, uh, seated in a place of reading. Uh, after one decade, uh, I need to take care because if you let me, I will stay four hours reading without go to the bathroom, for example. Okay, uh, we change the, but you need to to establish this as a habit, né? a good habit. Uh, what I suggest is that uh, you you uh, sometimes when when I, for example, I tell you that I wrote it, I wrote né? Uh, twenty two thousand pages, always a lot of work. I read that all the, uh, the, the material, conscienciological material, uh, wrote it, uh, the Encyclopedia of Conscienciology, all the books of Mr. Valdeira, seems a lot of, but uh, you don't read this uh, in one day. You need to, re to, to, to read this in a few years. So you need to start to organize, uh, and because of this, I was telling you uh, the importance to establish uh, some kind of uh, mental somatic, personal mental somatic task. Okay, I, I tell a lot of uh, uh, in in Calipino, in consensological Calipino activity. I tell a lot of about this idea, the importance uh, to establish this, because I, I will repeat. Uh, the I think the better way to change your habits, your bad habits and good habits is to put uh, good ideas uh, in your brain. Uh, and the better way to put good ideas, in my opinion, is to read and to reflect, not only see a good uh, documentary or a good uh, video, because uh, our two too quickly, you saw a video and so you see another. It's just confusing, when you read, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. When you read, you must uh, reflect about it. And mm -hmm. it's very, it is very different uh, from see a video. Yeah. And and maybe, Sorry. may I ask another question? Sorry, oh, or anyone please. else? Please. Okay, I you, you were talking about um, overcoming weak traits by the way you worked with your mental soma. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that, maybe? If I understand your question, for, exa uh, for example, uh, I had difficult to concentrate myself when I started this work. Uh, with the time, I can now uh, focus my mind in a theme and I can go very deeply uh, in this, in, in the analysis of this theme, okay? Uh, and I think that when you are working with your mental soma, mental soma has a lot of attributes. 
when you work with mental soma, you not only work with one attribute, you work with all of them. With the time, uh, we, you have more focus, more concentration, more attention, more uh, connection of ideas. You start to to be much more accelerate, accelerated né? in the in the conclu in the conclusions. Né? For example, Mr. Rod, Mr. Rod Vieira, when you ask him uh, sometimes something about one idea, um, I. I I do a, a, a metaphoric uh, explanation. You you ask him about uh, a letter, uh, about one idea, A, for example. Then he explains to you and gives an answer uh, about Z. And sometimes you have difficult to understand how he came out from A and go to Z. And he explained for you the cadence of ideas to to go to Z, and you when you see how he use, he works with his mind, you you understand. Oh, there is a logic way. Uh, when you work with mental soma, you do more uh, synapses, more connections of your of ideas in your brain. Uh, so you 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 starting to be like him. And you will start uh, uh, to understand uh, how he works. Okay. Uh, and in my opinion is that is what occurs with, with when you uh, uh, work with your mental soma. Because of this is so important. People uh, don't uh, don't um, normally don't uh, discover yet the importance of mental somatic uh, organization. Uh, is that my English is so poor, but no. I think no, that I with think two it is very well. <laughs> I think with two very weeks well. talking English, I will start to uh, because I, I I usually go to 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 Europe to USA with uh, each year, né? but now with the pan this pandem pandemic, pandemic problem, no, 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 no. I am not traveling for three years. <laughs> yeah. So Let, I, let's go, let's do Calipino in English. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would be nice, you know. You can you can do maybe, the, oh, look, this is an invitation. This is an invitation. Why not do Calipino once a month in English? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's an idea. It's an idea. Or at least once a year. <laughs> oh, at the very least, but that's too long. Once a year. Okay. Like, yeah, think about it. This would be really interesting, you know, so that people can have a taste you know, of uh, of uh, these, these classes of Calipino. Jeff. Very good, right? Because you go in a few subjects or ideas and you go as you're saying, you, you deepen, you know, go deeper and deeper and, you know, all that. So that's really nice. More questions are welcome. And people are coming in at the end almost, but better late than never. <laughs> okay, so um, I would uh, focus again, if I may, in this, in this idea of um, creating this this uh, good habit uh, that you were saying, this like penta, right? Determining what is the time of the day that you are going to uh, to leave for for this, even if it's just half an hour or if it is an hour per day, right? If we manage to to fixate this habit. I think this will help a lot to gradually develop your your uh, mental soma with the help of the helpers, <laughs> because that's the thing, you know, if you do penta, you have uh, at least one penta helper, right? So if you develop uh, the same kind of habit in this mental somatic area, you will have a specific helper for that there as well, right? So that's... I usually say, uh, Liliana, that if you don't have uh, one hour, and you probably have, but uh, if you say to you that you don't have one hour a day, okay, start with 
15 minutes. Uh, what I see uh, usually uh, uh, that you start with 15 minutes, but if you take something that you like, it, you, you will not stop in 15 minutes. You, you, you stay 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour. And the secret, another tip that I can tell you is that if you don't uh, have uh, some clearly idea for where you need to start, take something that you like, anything. If you want to read um, books very easy, okay, very, very light, no problem, but you start with it, okay? Uh, with the time you will take, uh, you will like to, to study uh, more dense ideas. Uh, with the time you will, will like, you will like uh, when you have uh, some ideas that you cannot stop, stop to thinking about it because you are so uh, involving with these ideas. Uh, and uh, when you have uh, the, the limit of your mental somatic uh, disposal, uh, when you have a lot of ideas that you must uh, stop because you are thinking so much, I think this is good because you are reaching a, a level of expansion of your mental soma. This is very important. Uh, if you not uh, go to this limit, you will not expand your uh, mental soma uh, adequate, uh, you know, in a- Adequately. Mm -hmm. Yes, adequately. And then there's this thing of uh, association of ideas. What, what I find myself that these days I do a lot is any information that, that I come across or that is given to me or, you know, even a tip to watch this documentary or that, you know, or read that book or do this or that. I always immediately go and I'm going to research about who are these people, who did, how did they do this? You know, da da da. So yeah, always go and who are these people? What are they doing? Why did they? What did they? You know, why they did this? You know, how they did it? Da da da. So it's it's like you know, it's a never stopping you know in in, in research and, and 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 finding more and more information and finding all the links. Why this came to me at this time? What is the synchronicity? Uh, what can I get from here? Why did I receive it? Why, why was this suggestion made to me? And, and, you know, and generally I find, okay, this has got to do with the book that I'm writing. <laughs> this has got to do, you know, it has to do with me for specific reasons. You just need to find the whys. And it, it's a bit like maybe like a kid, I go, why, why, why? <laughs> but, you know, it keeps you it keeps you going researching and and finding information that can be very interesting you know to what you are researching and studying and writing about I think. And you know Liliana uh, there is uh, some kind of a phenomena mental somatic phenomena that are very interesting uh, for example uh, I uh, I experienced uh, just a few times in my life, I think that not more than 10 times and I have uh, now I have uh, almost uh, 50 years okay I experienced this 10 times in my life but is is a kind of uh, for example uh, a, a mental somatic discoincidation a discoincidence that makes you uh, it starts to to goes in a primene, how you call in English. Uh, so energetic springtime, right? Yes, you, you, you go to energetic springtime uh, with, uh, when you work with mental soma, uh, so much hours, uh, long, long days ago, uh, for example, 10 days working 14 hours a day with mental soma, 
after a period like this, uh, you can start, uh, eventually you can start to, to have uh, the, this kind of energetic spring that makes you feel uh, very well uh, for two, three years, uh, uh, feeling the helpers, feeling the ideas, the energies. It's some kind of expansion of your consciousness uh, provoked uh, because you work a lot of with, with your mental soma, okay? Uh, and so there is uh, there uh, there is some kind of very uh, interesting uh, phenomena when you work with your mental soma. Uh, you, you, sometimes you are working uh, with uh, some ideas, and you feel. Uh, uh, the, the, the some specific helpers. For example, uh, for me, it was very significant when I was reading at the Encyclopedia of Conscienciology, a verbete called uh, Viragem do Mega Sediador. I don't know how you can the say turn that. Of the turn of the Mega Intruder. Oh, yes, the turn of Mega Intruder. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is a verbete of Encyclopedia of Conscienciology. Uh, and when I read this verbete and I was reflecting about it, I feel, I felt a helper uh, who was telling me that uh, he was an example of it, the turn of uh, and he was telling me that uh, if he had he, been an intruder and he became a yes, helper. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, he, uh, in his case, uh, was necessary uh, 2,500 years so so to transform him to a mega intruder, to a mega helper, okay, as a, a, as a evolutioner. Uh, as evolutionary, I think it's evolutionary, yeah? evolutionary. Yeah, evolutionologist. Evolutionologist, okay. So he became yeah. an evolutionologist. Okay. And uh, I, I have this as a hypothesis, okay. Uh, of course, everything that I'm telling here, uh, now here, we must apply the principle of uh, um, disbelief, no? Yeah? Of course, yes. Oh, Don't believe but, in anything. Yes, yeah, this is experience. very important. But uh, Mr. Valdivera uh, uh, told us that he know a person in New York. Uh, he called it the oldest man from Lexington. That was a man that worked in a library, uh, in a bookstore, eh? no, not library, library, a bookstore. And uh, for him, uh, he was a person who are in the book of uh, Rochester, uh, the, the Romance de uma Rainha. I don't know how you say in English this. So but... that's uh, from Egypt, back from Egypt. Yes, right? yes. From but the time the... of uh, Hatshepsut, yes. I think. Yes, yes. In this book, we had a, a, a person that is the Orange was a, 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 a prince, a prince of Egypt, and he was in that time a uh, mega intruder. Okay, and for him, Mr. Valdivieira, and now he was a evolutionologist uh, in New York. And for me, uh, when I read this verbiage in Encyclopedia, who uh, was with me was this person that now is uh, are in uh, now he is in interlogium working as a evolutionologist. So I am giving an example. Uh, what uh, I am telling this to uh, to stay clear for everybody who are listening to us now that you are you need to have open mind. When you read a book, especially a consensiological book, are not only a book. Uh, we have energies, we have helpers, we have uh, ideas that are uh, imbricated with the, 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 the material that you are reading and reflecting about it. You are and you are working uh, in uh, the expansion, in the development of your intellectual parapsychism as well. 
Yes. And and you are working in the direction of developing your pangraphy as well. So all these more advanced uh, uh, parapsychic capacities that that we have with that work that that's how you do it, right? That's what you do. Any more questions? We still have time for one or two, maybe. <laughs> Feel free. You know that, Liliana, uh, 20 years ago, I saw a class uh, by Valdo Vieira uh, that he gave in English. And in that day, I, I convinced myself that I was able to, to take a class in English too, because uh, his English <laughs> was uh, with an accent. Uh, uh, terrible. But, <laughs> but what, okay. matters, what matters is that, you know, to communicate and to be understood. Yes. And, and obviously, when we are talking about consensiology matters, uh, consensiology subjects, the field and the helpers also yes. help people understand yeah. what is being what is being transmitted. And that's it. We just need more practice. You know, past all the bottlenecks, we can now do more things in English, right? <laughs> that's the invitation too. So that everyone um, and, and, and again, this, this idea that I think it's important, even if we have, uh, and let's hope we do many more translators and revisers to translate the books that we want to translate into English, all of Valdivieta's uh, books and not just his, everyone else that is also writing, because now we have many uh, people writing um, and, and uh, about their, their, uh, their experiences and their self-research. Even that, you know, uh, beyond that, we, we need to, to start writing consensiology in other languages as well. You know, giving classes in other languages and start writing in other languages. So, and we do have, uh, uh, all of us, we, we do have um, some level of uh, self-research going on. And, and this, this class today is very much about, you know, remember, you know, all those notes that you took during your courses, during your readings, everything that you already did in consensiology all along these years, you know, where is this material? You can use this material in your, in your self-research and to produce books that can help others as well, can help yourself while you're doing it. And it can help others, you know, present and future intermissivists, right? That's the idea, you know, let's have all that information. You know that, Liliana, uh, I am, I am, have, I, I have a, an inspiration now to tell uh, you, all you, that uh, our life uh, is, goes very quickly. When you have uh, uh, in, inside of you an, uh, an idea that you have uh, something more to do, uh, take this idea seriously. Work uh, in what you need to do, to, to do what you think to do. Okay, uh, I think that you understand that. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people uh, loses uh, his lives. Um, their proexes as well, they lose their lives. Yes. Their proexes without doing what we came to do. Yeah. Yeah. But they 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 loses their lives uh, with ideas that don't uh, value. Yes. Uh, the persons, um, th this intraphysicality uh, has a lot of um, um, dispersion. Yes, yeah. dispersion. dispersion. A lot of stimuli that take you off very easily yeah. off your proactions yes. and all that. And yeah, cool. and these ideas, each one of us has ideas that are unique, and that is your uniqueness that we need to to our uniqueness, right, that we need to express because 
There are no two people alike. Each one of us has a specific message to, to, to bring out, so to speak. You know. Instructor Cesar, uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. Sometimes we need to discover our profile uh, because, uh, for example, I saw in Cesar that he has this profile to, to do the compilation of uh, like Calip Calipino, eh? that this was very interesting thing. And uh, maybe it's one of us can discover which one is our profile, something that we need to value, that it's unique something that is our singularity. So what do you think about that, about this idea? Yeah, I think that, uh, Virginia, we must uh, separate the activity, uh, male the activity finality, how you say male. Uh, you know, the, the process, the, the what's going on and then your objective your final goals uh, yes yes you need to, to to separate this uh, for example it's very important for a person uh, knows what his weak traits his strong uh, uh, is important to have recognitions is important to discover some ideas i don't know but uh, more important than this is your praxis, is, is your mission of life. Sometimes uh, the person is stayed uh, paralyzed in an idea. For example, oh, I am an exist existential investor, for example, or I am a, I don't know, I am a something, but uh, he don't, uh, out in front. Uh, Self-confrontation. Yeah. Uh, you self face uh, what you must need to, to, to face exactly. The interconsciential recyclings, uh, the, for example, uh, a recomposition, group of karmic re recomposition with uh, somebody from your family. Uh, and uh, I think this is a problem uh, when you confound, uh, you, you, you change what is a process and what is the, the principle, the meaning, uh, the mission of your life. Uh, don't uh, uh, meaning anything if you are an epicon, if you are uh, a good teacher, if you are a, a, a good, I don't know, a good uh, writer, if you uh, don't face uh, what you must face in your praxis, because uh, this is for what uh, we are here, okay? We cannot uh, uh, confound this, uh, mix this, uh, what is the, uh, the process and what is the objective of our lives. I see a lot of people studying, for example, uh, his supposed past lives, but they don't bring this to, to his lives to see what they need to change to be more eff eff effective with this life. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. There are uh, some arro arrogance, uh, talking arrogance, yeah. arrogance uh, 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 the people knows uh, a little bit and think that they are, they are, I don't know, uh, uh, understanding all the universe. Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem because helpers don't work like this. Uh, we are living now in a, a very special moment in our lives. Uh, that we, uh, the idea that Mr. Rodriguez talked with us a lot of, that was the pre and pre intermissiology uh, period. Okay, uh, we are preparing ourselves to 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 coordinate or to manage uh, uh, teams of helpers in the in the next next 
uh, intermissive uh, period. Uh, if you don't uh, work well now, you don't have this opportunity in the next period. And how you, you, you can uh, know if you are having a, a good work now, uh, you, are, you need to observe your capacity of agglutination of people, uh, the works that you are doing, the example that you are doing to other persons, uh, your interconsensual recyclings. Uh, you need to observe all that uh, uh, because uh, if you don't do this, uh, the extra physical melancholy is probably the prospective <laughs> for you, okay? So uh, I, I think I know that we are uh, finishing uh, this 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 class. So I, I had the inspiration to to talk about it. Thank you I for that, that inspiration. Is very yeah. good. Yeah, I think that is important. important. Indeed, okay. indeed. Yeah. Yeah, because you start seeing the rea your reality. You know the the things that are the most important. Uh, so try not to waste your time in things that are not uh, are not giving results uh, for your projects and, and your life on on one side we are the first group of intermissivists and on 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 the other hand we are preparing as caesar is saying you know your next intermission and then uh, and the difference is what have you accomplished with the information that you get from your intermission what have you recycled what are you doing with all your your luggage as a consciousness all your knowledge already you know and you know what are you preparing that you actually you can carry on in the extra physical doing uh, better quality as essential work deeper as essential work and that and next next lifetime things like that if we lose the opportunity, yeah, melancholy will fall, <laughs> for sure, indeed. Okay, anyone has any other last question? Anyone wants to add anything? Some people very silent. I'm just yeah. thinking about self-responsibility. So you cannot blame anyone, any colleagues, like, no, Cesar told, told me ourselves. about that. So I cannot say, I didn't know, yes, I, I had this, opportunity to listen to other colleagues and i think this sense of groupality or fraternity to be open to receive help when you need it or you you help others when your colleagues that are near you i think this this is so important in the yeah in our process evolutionary process together as a group indeed indeed well thank you very much everyone and thank you very much caesar that was really really very good it was great to have you here and to have this this exchange it's uh and it's it's the kind of activity that you know it's a calipino so it's a lot more interactive it's supposed to be a lot more interactive and about these ideas and inspirations and tips and you know this is really very valuable thank you really very very much um and we will have the, the next activity of the bridge writers in two months time so that will be in uh, in april and uh, in april we will be here with roberto leinig so um I will not disclose at this moment what he's going to talk about, but we will do that soon. Okay. Thank you so much once again and uh, have a nice uh, rest of the Sunday. I don't know the day, the evening and see you soon. Okay. Bye bye everyone. Thank you Thank very you. much. Sue. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right.